We're gonna do Cam and Crank with a Hyundai Sonata. You ready? What we want to do is uh, we want to find defining characteristics. Let me see. Well, first off, you know what? Hold on. That's the, uh, that's for the, uh, camshaft, the red traces for the camshaft, turn that off. That's for the crankshaft, the yellow traces for the crankshaft. And then so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put them together. See how it's, the square wave happens in the middle of the larger, of the red trace. And then it happens in the middle of the smaller, and it repeats itself. It goes in the middle, and then it goes in the middle of the smaller one. So basically look at this right here. It repeats itself. That, look at that. It's the same as that. So like I said, the, uh, the yellow is the crankshaft. And if you've seen my video, you have the two plates. The two plates. Those plates are going to, every time it goes across it, it's going to uh, do this. Boom. Boom, boom. And then the camshaft, it's going to look a little different than the plates. Um, so this, the yellow is the crankshaft. And the, uh, so I'm thinking probably top dead center. Uh, compression is probably this right here. And uh, just by looking at that, you can tell that the timing is correct. Just for the simple fact that that yellow the yellow starts right exactly in the middle of the red and not only that this is right exactly in the middle red also 
just looking at that, you, you could see that the, uh, the timing is correct. Actually, there's more characteristics on the, uh, the camshaft, if you notice. Because if you notice, this full yellow trace is perfectly in between those two. It's uh, the same as that one, perfectly in between those two. So this is the same as that, but this is not the same as that, if you notice. So that is cam and crank for a um, 2.4 liter Hyundai Sonata. I'll show you what the... Uh, I'm at it's they're both set at um five volts per division. So what we're looking at is it's five volts. Each one of these uh squares from here to here is five volts so these are both five volt square waves like i said a three wire three wire uh is a square wave and that's what we're looking at that's what we're seeing right now i'm gonna rev it a little bit just to show you what it looks like. So let's start with uh, this one right here where it's right in the middle. So, okay, you got right in the middle. So that from here to here should be 180 degrees of the crank. From here to here should be 360 degrees of the crank. between here and here would be uh, 720 degrees of the crank. So from here to here is 360, from here to here is 360 on the yellow trace. Okay, the yellow trace is the crank. So you get from here, 180, 180, 180, 180. From here to here is 360 of the crank. From here to here to here is 720. So it's 360 and 360. So that totals three, 720 degrees. That means the crank went once, twice. Right here. Boom, 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 boom. 
So that makes sense because the plate, if you look at the plate in the video, it's a round plate and it has at both corners, 180 degrees across, it has a plate. So every time it turns, it goes across that sensor, boom, hits it once, hits it again. So for every 360 degrees, you see two. So that makes sense, right? One, two, one, two. 360. Two, that's 360. One, two. So one, two. One, two. Yeah, okay, this is uh, 360. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So basically from the first line to the first line is 360. From first line to the first line is 360. But you could tell, like if you, uh, if you think maybe the vehicle is out of time, you just look at this and you, you could tell it's in time. You can see the defining characteristics. This yellow square wave is directly in the middle of the larger red trace. This wave is directly in the middle of the shorter. So that's the defining characteristics of this, uh, this square wave. It's not really that difficult. Um, what else was I going to say on this engine? I think that's all I got right now. The other sensor was going bad, and the reason the other sensor, I'll actually show you. It actually had a, a camshaft posi position sensor code beforehand. And I'll actually show you, you can see right here. You see that? You see that? This naturally from the factory is pressed in between two pieces of metal. This is for the, the uh, tensioner pulley. This is the old one. This is the damage that was done. Very minimal damage. You see it right here. And I actually think that... Uh, it wasn't just this, it was also when we put it back. You can see this this right here. That came from the factory like that. You gotta realize they make uh, almost two million vehicles per year. And they put these things together really quickly. And uh, I actually modified the vehicle so it doesn't do this anymore. So it's not pinched in between two pieces of metal. So in other words, I've done some research on this vehicle, and I was shown that this uh, these sensors go out a lot, and I really think it's because of this right here. And another thing I wanted to talk about was uh, I did not have to remove the timing belt in order to change this, but if you notice something, this is the old sensor. I was just doing some tests on the old sensor. I did the new sensor. I did not want to remove the, the old time the new timing belt because I didn't have another hand with me to help me. So I did modify that bracket. I did cut it. I did not do this though to the new sensor. I uh <clears throat> I soldered and um I uh, shrink wrapped together, but I, 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 because this doesn't fit in the area to go through right here, and this end doesn't fit in the area to go through. Somebody was asking about to get to the sensor to change it. If you haven't done the timing belt, you're going to have to do the timing belt if you want to change the sensor, but if you just did the timing belt and you don't want to remove it, 
you're literally gonna have to cut this area and work these in through around the timing belt. But yes, unless you do what I did, which was modify that bracket, which you probably should do anyways, um, which is the uh, for the pulley, the hinge for the pulley, it pinches right here. It runs alongside the wire and it pinches it right here. And I modified this bracket a little bit so it no longer pinches it. And because uh, I didn't want to have to run into this again. This is unacceptable right here. For wire, this is unacceptable. And this is stock from the factory like this. That's not supposed to be like that. I don't care if the factory did or not. This is going to cause wiring to overheat and start rubbing on each other. That's how long the sensor is. Alright guys, thanks for watching.